Well, Florida Senator Chris, or rather Rick Scott, thought he was going to go on to Fox News and he was going to be a hit. He's going to go ahead and pull out his 11-point plan. And even though McConnell says, I don't like that, Republicans don't like that, that it was going to be all fine and he was going to be able to lie to the Fox News audience and to anyone that would listen without any repercussions. Well, to my chagrin, Fox News let him pay and you know what i thought it was great because this is something we don't normally expect of fox news they did a great job check this out we'll take it on the other side you recently put out an 11 point plan to rescue america two of the big points of which are quote all americans should pay some income tax to have skin in the game even if a small amount currently over half of americans pay no income tax it also says all federal legislation sunsets in five years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. So that would raise taxes on half of Americans and potentially sunset programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Why would you propose something like that in an election year? Sure. Well, John, that's, of course, the Democrat talking points. It's a no, no, it's plan. in the plan. It's in well, the plan. But here's, here, but here's this thing about reality for a second. It's First of all, let's talk but, about but, Medicare. But, Senator, but Senator hang on. John. And, so it's not a Democratic talking point. It's in the plan. And also in the plan, it says we ought to every year talk about exactly how we're going to fix Medicare and Social Security. Here's what's happening. No one that I know of wants to sunset uh, Medicare or Social Security. But what we're doing is we don't even talk about it. But here's what's unfair. Mm -hmm. We have people that don't that could go to work and have figured out how to have government pay their way. That's not right. They ought to have some skin in the game. I don't care if it's a dollar. The woke left controls everything. As we got to win as, and we got to change the country. As you said, not everyone agrees with it. And one of the people that doesn't agree with it is Mitch McConnell. Here's what he said. Let me tell you what would not be a part of our agenda. We will not have as part of our agenda a bill that raises taxes on half of the American people and sunsets Social Security and Medicare within five years. Now, a few days after he said that, you penned a Wall Street Journal op-ed about your plan titled, Why I'm Defying Beltway Cowardice. Are you calling Mitch McConnell a coward? What I'm saying is, what I've, I've been in D.C. for three mm -hmm. years, right? I want to get something done. I went to D.C. to change this country. Look at where we are now. The woke left controls the, you know, mm -hmm. the executive branch. They control a lot of our government. They control academia. They control Hollywood. We, I mean, look at it. We have an open border. We've decided we're not going to be energy independent. We've got to change this. You don't know, change it without having a plan. I think the majority of your colleagues want to focus on Joe Biden uh, as opposed to uh, coming up with a plan that they think that they can sell to the American people about what the Republicans would do. In other words, the, Republic, the, Ameri the Republicans are not selling anything Americans want to buy. But uh, let, let's, let's decompose what Rick Scott had to say. First of all, I want to give kudos to uh, Roberts at Fox News. I want to give them kudos because that was a well done report where it forced Rick Scott to tell the truth or, or force Rick Scott or let, let their audience know that Rick Scott pretty much is lying to them. Within the document, it says we will be raising taxes on more than half of Americans because everybody will be required to pay income tax and i want it to be understood that that is what the document says and by the way there's nothing different about what rick scott wants to the regular republican orthodoxy that is their belief okay their belief is that they want to sock it to everybody else to support the wealthy the wealthy is a special class who dispenses who will be good, who will have things, who will get the opportunity to serve in the capitalist domain. Remember that. That is what they truly believe. There is a class that they decide who will be a member of that class and participate. But let's get a little bit deeper. The idea that somehow these people that don't take income taxes or don't pay income taxes are freeloaders is ridiculous. They buy gasoline, they buy things, and every time they spend their money on something, they pay taxes. They pay rent. Every time they pay rent, indirectly they pay property taxes. Listen, people who don't pay income taxes are not freeloaders. 
they just don't make enough and if you really wanted to stop that instead of saying we're going to ask those people that are making menial wages to definitely have to pay even a dollar in federal income taxes what you should be saying is we need to force those corporations who are making record profits who we are supporting with our military who we are supporting with tax abatements who we are supporting with all these great values we should force them to pay them more so that we the people in the aggregate it is not responsible for subsidizing corporate America's profits because right now in just about every part of our society big business I'm not talking about regular free enterprise companies your local grocery store your local store your local pizza shop your local restaurants we Americans are subsidizing big corporations from oil companies to uh, pharmaceutical companies to material companies we the american people are not only buying their products but we are subsidizing the wealthy by ensuring the profits that they make max is maximized for them if you follow politics done right we cover a whole lot of that so that is important for you to note that this these people are not free loaders at all it is also important to note what the when that five-year sunset is very important it's probably more consequential than having the poorest person pay a dollar let me explain right now we believe in social security right now we believe in these these social programs that help most americans okay but what you do when you put these things under what's called sunset is you are saying we re-evaluate if we want this program every five years I want you to pass picture this picture that you have a block of senators who are idealistic who don't like Social Security and picture another group who are leaving office and they really don't care about being reelected they, they they've, they've made enough money they no longer have to worry about being on the dole of of corporations who need them in the Senate so they're gone the fact that you can have a sunset on these particular heavy duty social programs that are all needed means that at some time maybe not the next five years but could be they can say we don't like Social Security anymore we're gonna sunset it it's dead and we're gonna replace it with something else that is a lot cheaper which means that the, the multi-billionaires can get more, pay less taxes, etc., etc., and leave the people struggling. They, nobody ever cares about them struggling. Let's give a, a classic example about no one cares about people who are struggling. The pandemic, the effects of the pandemic is not over yet. We had the, the rescue bill that, uh, the rescue bill that allowed, that gave, that allowed parents to have an extra bit of money for their kids, all right? Well, you know, they can't pass Build Back Better, so that just drops off the radar. Nobody says, how do we help these people that were getting help for a year? How do we help them? How do we make them whole? How do we allow them to get back out of poverty? We took them out of poverty and we threw them right back in. So you don't say, well, we won't. When he says, uh, we won't sunset Social Security, you can't believe it. They just sunset something similar to that when they decided not to re-up the, a part of the, the, the extension of the rescue bill which would have been built back better to, to institute good policies and even a, a, a blue dog democrat said the reason I'm not supporting the bill is because these people are going to go ahead and drink it off or go hunting my god what do you think how close are you to the average American citizen to really just think that everybody wants to freeload most people have pride most people want to work they just want to work for something that they've earned they don't want to do what capitalists normally do pay the least amount of money to the employees pay the least amount of money oh when they increase to 15 or 19 dollars oh they think they're doing you a favor but they're getting million billion dollar bonuses come on people we have a failed economic system that masquerades because we have beautiful buildings and beautiful streets that you can't use they have beautiful infrastructure in certain places but you go into the hood and no money ever gets there to fix the potholes come on folks 
And though many, many a times those are the people protecting, defending, supporting those who most screw them. My question to you. Right now, the generic poll says 46% Republican, 44% Democrats. That's what it's saying. And given that the, Dem the Republicans have a, a, a built-in advantage, you really need something like a 53 to 40, 47 for there to be a break-even, right? Well, so far, if things continue this way, if Democrats fail to warn Americans about what's coming meaning i'm not talking about losing losing is not i'm not talking about losing but supporting candidates who will ultimately screw you if they don't find a way to articulate that if they continue their timidity if they continue not to go for the jugular and call these people the politicians that is the evil that they are the immoral the immoral fiends that they are if they don't get active and point it out and prove it rick scott it shouldn't have been fox news that articulated the 11 points over and over again we should be talking about the republican 11 points all over tv we should be talking about the republican 11 points and and when they say mitch mcconnell said it won't pass it no this has always been republican policy and itemize that they do make things sunset remember absent mccain the affordable care act would have been sunsetted think about that and all those that are dependent on it so don't say that oh they won't do that they were one vote away one vote away from doing just that America I know a lot of folks just vote on idealistic things but I, I know people I talk to people on the individual basis if you talk to them trust trustworthy in a trustworthy manner and not just fact-based but where touches them you can make a difference and there won't be any landslide of electing people that will screw your fellow Americans so let's get busy and tell the right story, tell the truthful story, tell the moral story, and do it in a form that's not condescending, but how it helps each other. Let's get busy. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.